What's going on there, folks? Good evening. It is Earthmaster here checking in on this uh, December 23rd, 2020, 9.40 p.m. West Coast time here. The Christmas Eve of Christmas Eve, I guess. Christmas Eve coming tomorrow. I've been busy kind of wrapping some presents and whatnot. I uh, forgot how much of a task it really is, wrapping presents, that's for sure. Earthquake activity out here on the, on the globe shows the latest quake here. A 3.4 out there in the Puerto Rico area. Uh, if you notice a little bit more activity down here around New Zealand, that's because I did add the GeoNet uh, 4.0 and above uh, for the New Zealand area combined on the globe with the USGS uh, 2.5 and above for the states and Puerto Rico, uh, and then internationally 4.0 and above. So uh, it should include a little bit more activity, at least for the New Zealand area. I think these were even showing some three pointers. So I'm not exactly for sure the threshold on here. It might be 3.0 and above, but uh, either way, it is added onto the globe, a 5.9 out there in a quiet area where we haven't seen a whole lot of earthquake activity. Uh, just north of the region here, uh, right around the... Uh, Ooh, I'm not even sure how exactly you're going to pronounce, or I'm going to pronounce that, I should say. Uh, what is that? Palau? Palau? Um, either way, on the map, you guys can see that uh, region there where that 5.9 struck. North of Papua New Guinea, Philippines over here to the northwest. This area just kind of, uh, uh, I don't know, I, I can't say I've ever really pronounced that name at all. So, coming across all sorts of weird pronunciations lately, right? Kind of strange. All right, there's the 3.4 in the Puerto Rico area, and uh, some earthquake activity taking place in the states as well. Looking at the one day all magnitudes, you can see the cluster of quakes in uh, Frackingville. <laughs> Just kidding. I think I, I think I made a, a few folks uh, irritated when I talked about all the fracking um, operations and whatnot out here. You know, it's just it's a fact. It's a fact that fracking and whatnot does cause earthquakes out here, you know, and, and to deny that uh, is just uh, to be blind. So uh, there's always going to be the haters out there, right? Either way, some earthquakes taking place there in northern uh, Oklahoma region. You can zoom in there right around the Red Hills area. Not all of this is going to be fracking, but uh, fracking does contribute to a good percentage of the earthquakes in Oklahoma, Texas, and the Kansas region flying over land uh, or flying over this land here I you can see all these squares right these little things people think they're houses out there those aren't houses those are all pumping operations and whatnot we can zoom in on them you can see all these little pumps and uh, I'd have to pull up Google Earth to, to view a little bit closer detail but these are all uh, pumping operations and whatnot um, and there's thousands of them thousands upon thousands of them and this earthquake activity taking place uh, well, you know, within it, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say it's, well, it could potentially be that, uh, it's, it, it's in this field. Well, no, it is within this, all this pop pumping operation activity out here. So a couple three or at least a 3.1 earthquake there in this region and a couple small microquakes followed up here, uh, for that region and, uh, zooming in, let's go back over here to the train. Uh, you know, there's some sporadic earthquake activity up here around Stillwater and Ponca City. Uh, Kansas still seeing some earthquake activity, but uh, things seem to be calming down a tad bit in that region. Compared to the past couple days there, a lot of folks there in Wichita uh, being shooken up there. No swarming really to report in Southern California. A little earthquake out here. Shaken. I wouldn't even say shaken. That's a little microquake right there. A little 1.4. San Fernando Valley region, right around the, uh, what is this here? Panorama City, look at that concrete jungle. No, thank you. Uh, other than that, pretty quiet along the San Andreas Fault. Ridgecrest still seeing their general activity. Nevada the same, no new changes in the amount of earthquakes or magnitudes. Uh, no, no activity in Northern Cal as far as the volcano activity goes. Uh, still seeing some microquakes there around the Mount Rainier area, 0.5. But other than that, uh, no major uh, movement at all. And uh, Idaho seems to be quieting down as well. Uh, you can see the lack of earthquakes here in this region around the Sawtooth Fault as compared to the last week where we've seen a pretty good influx of uh, 
earthquakes in that region. Yellowstone, pretty quiet uh, for the most part as well. Alaska, of course, this is average earthquake activity for them in any given day, any given year. Well, any given day, this is just 24 hours of earthquake activity. And a lot of microquakes, and that's, uh, you know, that's, that's what Alaska does. There's a lot of earthquakes that take place up there. As uh, far as the uh, the trenches up here, they look pretty quiet until you get down to this uh, region here, Palau. Palau, Palau. There's a couple different ways you could pronounce that. You know, correct me if I'm wrong. You know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get mad. I don't get mad when uh, constructive criticism and um, pronunciation comes up. Trust me, I take it all into account. A little earthquake up here around the Greece area, 4.8. I wouldn't say super small. But uh, I'm sure that uh, rattled a few nerves up there. Kind of out there in the mountainous area. 9.6 kilometers below surface for that 4.8. Uh, take a look at Yellowstone. Well, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and check out Yellowstone here real quick. The thumbnails, the overview, if you will, of seismograph stations within the Yellowstone Park. Caldera is going to be this black line right here of Yellowstone. It's a massive super volcano. I'm sure everyone uh, knows that. Hopefully, uh, there's some, I believe the, this is all wind event up here. It looks like maybe there was some potential uh, earthquake activity here, but I'm, I'm starting to have second doubts on that, especially, especially looking at these other stations here. I'm not seeing any type of signature of, of any earthquakes that could be coming off of this in nearby stations. So uh, more than likely some type of wind event or interference the same. Here in this area, this little red uh, blip on the data stations there, not an earthquake. Uh, definitely not a signature of an earthquake, but a recalibration it looks like on some of the seismographs uh, that showed up on, well, it looks like they may have done them at the same time on, on uh, quite a few of the stations right there in this region. Uh, let's see what we got. Kilauea Volcano, still rumbling out there, still producing lava, still filling up that uh, crater with a new lava lake out there um far as the height of this i'm reading off the usgs volcano site here as of 8 a.m of course this is probably uh, filled up a little bit more the kilauea summit lava lake surface is now uh 1500 feet below the crater rim indicating that the lake has filled 515 feet from the bottom of the crater uh, so yeah there's quite a bit of um filling of the of that crater there's still two fissures that are very active supplying that uh, lava lake with uh, fresh lava and this could continue for quite some time far as any type of uh, uh let's see here what do we got in the usgs here activity at the western vent is intermittent gas emissions and seismic tremor remain elevated with minor deflationary deformation. So this could continue for quite a while, you know, as far as the, uh, the supply of lava into the crater. So it'll be interesting to watch as this gets fuller and fuller um, over time. Of course, this thing could always change. Right now, the watch is the orange, in the orange category. Uh, still kind of heightened activity. Things could obviously change at any given moment far as the earthquake activity goes in the state of Hawaii. Let's go ahead and swing out there real quick. 2.5 and above. There is not a... So you got to go down to the uh, all magnitudes here to see the activity. Of course, all this up here around the crater area going to be trimmer that they're talking about. And some small microquakes going on here around the south area. There's the crater region that's uh, being filled out there. Down here in the south, just some deep movement. Uh, you know, no major change as of yet. Space weather, uh, still potential for uh, some storming out there going on for the uh, uh, high latitudes, it looks like, about 65%. Their detailed forecast from the uh, solarham.net website shows the uh, G1 minor storm conditions are expected. I think this was the same last night. Unsettled to active conditions are expected on the 23rd, which was today with likely periods of G1 class storm conditions late due to escalating uh, influences of these classes here. 
Primarily unsettled active conditions are anticipated on the 24th as uh, the influences continue but weaken. So right now, looking at the charts here, pretty weak. Uh, not a whole lot of movement, or uh, movement, <laughs> not a whole lot of uh, heightened KP indexes here. This could change. Uh, but for now, everything's kind of, you know, kind of minor. Even looking at this, uh, let's go ahead and zoom in here real quick. Even looking at this Aurora forecast here is pretty, uh, pretty dim. Here's a probability probability of auroras here looks like roughly maybe not even maybe 10 percent at that right now when this goes into the yellow and red that's when we're talking about getting out there with your camera and getting some awesome northern light shots something i want to do before i leave this world and move on to the next one so uh hopefully that'll happen pretty soon just gotta plan it out uh, what else we got going on here, folks? That's about it. I'm going to call it a night. I think it is kind of late. Um, almost 10 o'clock here, California time. Um, so I hope everyone has a great... I'll probably do an update tomorrow and uh, update on Christmas or whenever we have heightened activity. I always try to jump in uh, with any type of updates as they become uh, needed. Uh, but for now, I hope everyone has a good night. We'll chat you guys tomorrow sometime. And uh, stay safe out there. Peace out, everyone.